continuing with uh, complex numbers <clears throat> let's look at this equation or this question one root of the equation z cube minus 10 z squared plus 37 z plus p equal to 0 the p is real is z is equal to 3 plus 2i find the value of p and the other two root so what they're saying is this uh, equation uh, has got one root which is a complex root so we can see z1 is 3 plus 2i now in complex roots as you know complex roots can always uh, comes in pairs so if you, if one root is 3 plus 2i the conjugate is also the root of this equation a complex equation so I can say therefore C2 has to be 3 minus 2i. So if one root is a complex root, the other root is the conjugate of it. So that's a theorem. Okay, so we can say as this is a cubic equation Z3, uh, so, let, so let's say Z3 is equal to, it has to be a real number. So you can't have the third, if there are three roots, and if two of them are, if one root is complex, the other has to be complex, the conjugate of that. So the third is has to be real. So Q3, we are saying let it be equal to Q. Okay, where Q is real. Q is, Q would be real. Okay, so if these are the three roots, uh, I can say, therefore, uh, Z minus this root which is 3 plus 2i times z minus this root which is 3 minus 2i times z minus q should be equal to this equation okay i hope this should be clear this is uh, second nature for calculus students so i'm not going into that detail i hope you understand this 37z plus p okay now i'm going to do expansion of this so therefore can i write this as z minus 3 minus 2i times z minus 3 plus 2i times z minus q is equal to this whole thing that is z cube minus 10z squared plus 37z I'll try to be as uh, neat as possible so now this is difference of two squares so therefore this is nothing but z minus 3 squared minus 2i squared using difference of two squares times z minus q is equal to this whole thing i'm not writing the whole thing so that is two okay therefore expanding this this is z squared minus 6z plus 9 minus 4i squared times c minus q is equal to two two means i don't want to repeat the whole thing therefore this is simplifying this therefore i can write z squared minus 6z now i squared is negative 1 so this is 9 plus 4 which is 13 times z minus q is equal to this whole thing too okay so now let me expand this the next step i'll have to write the right hand side so if you expand this so this is z q minus z squared q minus z squared q with now expanding with minus 6z that is minus 6z squared uh, plus 6z q plus 13z minus 13q is equal to this whole thing which is z cube minus 10z squared 
plus 37z plus p. So let us simplify the left hand side. So this is z cube. So what can I factor out? I can factor out the z squared. So if I put a minus out, I can write uh, q plus 6z squared. Am I right? I'm putting a minus out, so it'll be q plus 6z squared plus uh, I can write 6q times z plus so I can factor out, yeah, I can factor out a z there. So if you factor out the z there, uh, can I write 6q plus 13z minus 13q is equal to z cube minus 10 z squared plus 37z plus p. Okay, now doing the comparison, so let me change color, green color. So you can compare z cube with z cube. Q plus 6 can be compared with 10. Okay, because you've got a minus and minus, I can say, well, Q plus 6 is equal to Q plus 6 is equal to 10, so which implies Q should be, or Q is 4. Okay, now what do we know? Well, how, what else can we compare? Uh, let me use a different color. Uh, can I compare this 13? Uh, I can say P is nothing but minus 13 Q. P. P, when you compare this, you can compare this with this. So P is my uh, 13 Q. And Q we know is 4. So P is minus 13 times 4, which is minus 52. So we have found the value of P. So the other roots, let me use a brown color. So the other roots, the other so what are the other roots? So Q is the other root. Okay, Q is the other root. And we have found Q is 4. So you can see that the other roots are 3 minus 2i and 4. Okay. Uh, so this is that's what they were asking. We have found the value of P and the other two roots. See you in the next video.